We're back at Freedom Makers. So last week was my, uh, wow. I usually take, uh, I try to take the first Sunday of every month off, but that has not happened for months. So it's literally uh, the first week that I haven't been here in a very long time. And I got a lot of stuff done at home and today we're back here. So Gracie and I, uh, it's been a very exciting, very exciting uh, day, week, actually. Um, but today, Lauren came up, um, which, you know, we absolutely love. Gracie jumped out of the Jeep, went running at her like, you know, it was the best thing she'd seen in years, just circling and doing zoomies and squeaking like a squeak toy. <laughs> Anyhow, it was so fabulous to see her. And, um, you know, she's my partner in crime here. She is the um, the master gardener guru here at Planet Acres. And we have just been patiently waiting and both of us growing things at home, um, waiting until we could actually uh, get some electricity on. Therefore, we could start getting some, uh, some water from the well and um, getting the gardens going. So that was very exciting. Uh, also, let me give you the update for the week. So, uh, let's see what happened. So, uh, first of all, we did hear back from the county. And for those of you that have been following along, you know that uh, the uh, around August, uh, the county surprised me with a whole bunch of new inspections that it thought that I should have. Um, even though... The shipping container is a self-contained um, mobile unit built off-site. Um, and that, that was very clear in March that that's what we were doing. Suddenly in August, the county decided that they needed to inspect behind my drywall inside the container. So for the last three months, we have been collecting certifications from all the the vendors and from the tanker box guys that built the that built the container and we got that to an architect who then certified everything sent a letter to the county and um that that type of letter works in several counties here in florida not mine so we got a response back from them that uh that that would not work and that because of the amount of inspections that they decided that I needed, um, that I needed to get myself a private provider. Now, there's another interesting term. I get to learn so much constantly here at Freedom Makers. So, it seems that what a private provider is, is that that is a separate company that uh, creates plans, they inspect, and they are approved by uh, the governmental entities to do this. Now, notice that the county will not come and inspect, and the county won't accept uh, the letter from the architect. So this is the only way it seems now that we're gonna get to go. Now, that would have been nice to have known back in August. However, here we are, we're finding out now and that's okay. We just keep rolling with whatever we got to roll with here. So, um, Nair, uh, has spent the week, uh, trying to navigate that world of getting us a private provider. We will need to pay them separately to do all this work because as the county, uh, uh, wrote to me, they're unwilling to take the responsibility for this. There you have it. Okay. So, um, that's great. We're moving forward on that. And uh, we'll see how long that takes. Um, you you know by now you've seen me in all stages of crazy about this. And I'm not so crazy at the moment about it. Um, I just have it that it will happen when it's supposed to happen. And I keep following the steps that I'm being told that I need to follow because not necessarily that I'm a follower. 
those of you that know me know that uh, I, I am uh, I am quite the rebel. Um, however, I have to live with this county for the rest of my life, so uh, I am being on my good girl behavior. The other exciting thing that happened this week is Jason and his crew uh, have finally uh, been able to get themselves here between the hurricanes and and personal things and lots of work on their plate. Um, they have uh, they have now gotten here on the schedule and they started putting the framing up this week for the siding, which you guys know that was something else that the county insisted that I do so that the shipping container home would look more residential. So Jason, Jason's guys showed up this week. They got the uh, frame up on the front of the container on Friday. And I assume they will be coming back this upcoming week to continue getting the framing up and then getting the siding. They're also gonna be doing a, um, a deck for me and they're gonna be doing the tie down on the container. Uh, plus a an, kind of a little electric uh, platform that you can step up on to get to the um, uh, the the electric box on the container because well I'm short um, actually the county asked for that too so there we have it we've had progress and um, I will definitely be back next week and hopefully we will have a lot more progress on that and hopefully we'll have the private provider that we can have conversations with about what is the fast and easy way that we are going to be able to get these inspections done so that uh, Gracie and I get to live on the property. Uh, other than that, I just want to say that it has, um, it's been an interesting week in the world, particularly here in the United States. Um, Everybody has been impacted. Um, everybody came into the election, uh, I think, actually, mm, with a good dose of fear on all sides. Um, and, you know, I learned something back in the 70s. And the thing I learned back in the 70s, when we were busy protesting everything, was um, there was something we would say to each other, and it wasn't a negative saying. It was actually something to keep us motivated and moving. And the thing that was there was um, there's always work to do. So for all of us, there's always work to do. There's internal work to do. And there's external work to do. And I think that goes for every human being on the planet right now. So... Um, I wish you freedom for yourself and your life. And Gracie and I send you, where is she? There she is. Oh, if you can see her, she's looking at me so adoringly. Um, Gracie and I both send you, send you love. Um, I have it that there are really two forces on the planet. There is fear and there is love. And I think, I think we have all had enough fear porn and I think it's really time for us to go back to loving ourselves and taking care of ourselves, becoming, uh, becoming sovereign ourselves, and, and then sending love out into the planet any way we can. So I love you, and I hope that you are able to pass that on. We'll see you soon.